getting ready for my bike ride. I just need to put some air in my tire and I'm good to go. These bikes, I got the smaller one for $75 and the larger one for $85 at a bin store. So if you haven't heard about bin stores, bin stores are pretty much people who have brought from um, like wholesale return items from brands like Walmart, Target, Amazon, you name it. So typically when we return items to places like Amazon, what they do is they don't resell those items. They sell it to a third party to get, um, so like to a wholesaler. And what people do is buy from those wholesalers in box pennies on the item. They pay pennies on an item because they get in a bulk and they pay in a fixed price. And what these people do is they open these bin stores. And so what they do is they put the merchandise all in bins. And every day of the week, the bin prices are different. So typically, it'd be like Monday, two, the, everything in a bin is $2.00. Tuesday, everything in the bin is $3. Um, Thursday, everything in the bin is $4. And it goes up to the highest I've seen is like $10. And so what that grants you the opportunity with the items in the bin is if you go on the right day and that bin store is um, getting their items from a place like Target, you can get brand new stuff for pennies. For pennies compared to what it retails for and um i also got some outfits some target brands that will probably run maybe thirty dollars a piece i got all three of them for fifteen dollars so if you haven't found the bin store in your area find one soon because it's a steal even these bikes now it's not going to be honored at the bin um price for the day but you get it for a third of what it retails for. So, um, find you a bin store in your area and find it quick because they have Target brands, they have Walmart brands, they have Amazon brands and some of them. And these are quality items that for some reason, maybe, maybe especially like with, with the issue with getting shipments from the coast of California, Big retailers had a lot of merchandise that they couldn't push on the floor. So, in turn, they sell it to a wholesaler so they don't lose 100% of their money. And people like us gain from it because we can go to a bin store and get it for $2, even, you know, $7. And so, it's cool. But I will say, when you go to the bin stores, do not pay. If, if you know that item... Sometimes it's the original tag on it. If you know that item is $8 or you know in the store that it's $8 and that's $8 on a bin day, do not buy it because it's like you just brought it from the manufacturer. But if, in my case, if it's a $30 skirt that was selling Target and it's a $2 bin day, I'm definitely grabbing that because I'm getting a $28, $28 off of it pretty much. So. I'm gonna share mine at the end of this video. So here's the one that I visit recently where I end up getting the bikes and the clothing items. This one is called Amazing Deals. So like if you look at the picture, here you see where it says, everyday sale is a Black Friday, Friday sale. So. This is their pricing schedule. So on Thursday, everything in the bin is two dollars. Wednesday three, Tuesday four, Monday five, uh, Sunday six, Saturday seven, and Friday eight. So typically, if you want to get a really good deal, you just plan to go on a day where, you know, it may be cheaper. Now, would it be in a cheaper bin day? You're going to have a bigger influx of people. I end up going on Saturday, so it wasn't as many people. But if you go on that Thursday or that Wednesday at this particular store, I bet that it's going to be packed. And see, this one sell bikes, this one sell chairs, um, and even scooters. And then here they actually have some pictures of the inside. So 
these are the bins here so what they do is they put all their merchandise in these bins and those are the ones that's honored at the prices on the front of the store or posted in the store now along the walls they typically have other items that they sell but those items have their own sell price on them and those are excluded for from the price the bin price of the day and then also there are some other places like uh goodwill has a a liquidation store so it's on a is on a bin style so you can it's it's called goodwill outlets and so all you do is go on this site and you find a goodwill outlet near you so i'm gonna put washington dc because dc usually have a lot of good stuff so here you see i'm gonna do it as a i'm gonna open this up so here you can see all the bin all the outlet stores these include the actual um goodwills too but if you come here and stroll down a little bit You see, this one says Richmond Outlet. So this particular one is an outlet store and it operates just like the bins where, um, well, theirs have the prices on everything, but it's a bin style store. If you're looking for merchandise or you're looking for certain items, this is a good option as well. And I also went to one in Austin before. I wonder if I can find it. That one was the first one I went to. And then at that particular one, what their deal was at the time was actually you, they had baskets and you, you can get the whole basket at a really cheap fixed price if you can fill it up. So I've done that before and I've gotten items to sell on my resale store but it's is 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 really cool i can't find it but it's a really cool one in austin that does that Let's see if i can find it so you know there's plenty of options out here you know don't leave money on the table so I don't think this one's it, but it's still a similar style. You got bins, and a lot of times those bin, those bin prices are plastered everywhere within that store. And like the one in Austin, they actually had a deal where if you could fill up this basket, you got it for, it was anywhere between 50 to $100. And I had a bunch of different stuff. And ideally, I'm getting it for pennies. So when I resell it, it's nothing but profit. And then a lot of them do have like these testing, um, like testing stations where, you know, you can actually plug up the appliances to make sure that they're working. So you're not buying something that's broken. But this one's called bin drop but once i find the one i went to i will definitely share it but you know get in on these deals don't miss out here it is bin bargain bargain bins as bargain bins so that's the one i went to bargain bins so, so let's see if we can get it up So, yeah, it was definitely bargain bins, but so you see it says every day of the week, we drop the price of each item by $2 to make room for new truckloads. And then it says uh, Wednesdays, we serve up everything that's left and bins and for just 50 cents a p per item or $20 when you fill a bag. So right now 
they must be doing it where you fill a bag, you get that whole bag for $20. So it could be small items, you know, like they have like a lot of cell phone cases. They have like a lot of baby stuff. They have books. So just think if you could fill a bag, a $20 bag with 10, 15 books, you can get them in there real good. That's a steal, you know, especially most books retail $20 up brand new so and you're getting this stuff in pretty good conditions and so you see here this particular store this is their pricing schedule and so wednesday they're trying to do a clear out so that thursday they'll be ready for any new shipments that they're getting and so cool deal so i hope that this information is helpful don't leave money on the table don't leave money on the table you know go out there you can choose one of your off days to go find one explore one and see it's it's pretty fun because it's almost like it's a scavenger hunt to see what you can find and what cool items you can find that you never would have thought of adding to your wardrobe you know i'll include also my items that i found that the the three items that i got that was 15 dollars I made it into two outfits. So now I have two outfits for $15 and they look really nice and if I feel good in them. So go out there and get a bargain.